Yo, yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another TV show reaction. Today, we're going to be jumping into The Boys Season 2, Episode 5. We gotta go now. Now, <laughs> guys, we left off Episode 4 being probably... I would say one of my favorite episodes of season two as of right now like obviously if you guys you know didn't catch up to kind of like how i concluded it i love the pacing in that one it kind of really reminded me how season one felt with the pacing and how they were doing with just the flow of information and how it kept us wanting more and kept teasing and giving us and you know it reminded me of why i really love season one not to say that season two is bad or anything like that but the pacing I noticed was a little bit off because we were tackling a lot more stuff, which tends to happen when you want to up the ante. But season, uh, season two, episode four was so good. The last episode was incredible. But yeah, we got down to know what Liberty, who Liberty really is. And it's definitely Stormfront. And um, I kind of got into touch why Stormfront is, in my opinion, a little bit more dangerous than uh, Homelander because Stormfront is legitimately racist like, like I I don't think that they've I don't think I've ever seen an approach where a superhero is like you know violently racist and I kind of like the approach that they went with this it didn't feel like it was shoehorned in in my personal opinion I think it was done in a really natural way like you wouldn't really quite expect it and I'm really interested to see how they go forth with Stormfront. I mean, I kind of low key want her to die uh, very quickly, uh, but I kind of want to see what happens with her. Like, what's her story or if we get a chance to see how she interacts with everyone else and how that kind of unfolds. But yeah, I, it's, it's going to be really interesting seeing that. So I'm really excited about that. I'm really excited to jump into episode five. If you guys want to be ahead of schedule, definitely check out that Patreon. You get early access. I think we're about like two or three episodes ahead of the YouTube schedule. So if that's something that you're interested in, check out the Patreon below. But other than that, I'm going to stop talking again. Thank you so much. And let's hop right into episode five, season two of The Boys. Why does this look like the color grade they use in DC? <laughs> Why? Why does it look like the Justice League movies? Looks like you saved me, Red. No, you saved us. If you hadn't broken into that DHS mainframe. True. Wow. So they're already hammering in that she's a lesbian already. That's that's how <laughs> Society works today. I mean, I love how they're tackling this because society is just like this today. I'm gay. We have to keep moving. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh no. When are you going to stop torturing me? I don't know what you're talking about. Man, they are good with just like subtle jabs of like what's happening in today's world. Terrific. Whoa. Holy crap. Oh, yo. Oh, snap. <laughs> yeah, dude, you kind of murdered somebody. That tends to happen when you do that. I don't know. I really feel like he's he's like this close away from just causing doomsday. You schedule a press conference. The only thing that's like stopping that is Mr. Edgar. His views on what people think of him. If he really didn't care, he would just kill anyone and everyone that got in his way. Oh, yeah, that's right. She didn't want to go with him. Like, she didn't want to get saved, which is... Yeah, Butcher must be feeling all kinds of effed up right now. 
I don't know what he's going to be doing going forward, actually. Dang, dude, why is he... What the heck is he doing? Wow, what a scene, dude. I think he's just gonna... He's just gonna snap. I mean, honestly, he always feels like he's getting kicked down, so this is a pretty physical form of his life. You were... Uh... You were always like my canary, I suppose. Thank you. Goodbye, Huey. Your canary? Hello? Hmm. Wow. But another thing we got to keep in mind is that Noir is actually following him. You know, like, that's a whole thing in itself. Called me his canary? Tell me everything he said. <laughs> I love how that's how you know, like, something horribly wrong has happened is when Butcher is nice and calls you his canary. There's, like, his dog. You little rascal, eh? Look at you, little fucker. Yeah. You wouldn't change the day. His name is Terror. Oh, my goodness. That is such a Butcher dog's name. Like, what? What is he planning? Like, what what's going on here? Like, I know he lost all motivation to, you know, I guess he basically lost his reasoning to live, honestly, just to save his, his wife. Deep, you look so happy. I hardly recognize you. Katie, I'm in love, you know? I'm telling you, I think, I, I really do think A-Train can kind of turn around. I really hope so, because, my goodness, he was such a pain. What is the Church of the Collective? What? That's just been subtly hinted at. Like, are they just putting together superheroes that were kind of like has-beens? And then going to like make an army of their own? Like, what is that? Oh my god! Ew! What the freak? Yo, why that hurt? <laughs> that was... That was too bloody for me. My goodness. Oh. Lots of thanks. Time to piss off. We're not going anywhere. <laughs> I love how they're kind of just like pestering him now. Is that Black Noir? That's Black. Yo, he's there. Black Noir's here. Oh, snap. Yo, he found him that quick. Baker's not with me. You couldn't get her out? Yo, are we about to have a whole showdown, like, right here? I feel important. I know that now. Why are you talking to a stranger about our relationship? She's not a stranger. She's your teammate. I do not like Stormfront. I do not like her, dude. Americans are more accepting of gays when they're in a clear-cut gender role relationship, like Ellen and Portia. Okay. This is extremely cringy. My entire body is cringing. It wants to... Crawl in a hole and die. We're gonna take that motherfucker down. You trust me? Yeah. Really? Really? How are how are you gonna do that? How are you gonna do that? I'm very intrigued in how you are gonna be able to take Homelander down. Because he seems rather unstoppable to me. <laughs> Still. Lot. Hmm. Yeah, that's the one person you can actually probably, could, you know, you could relate to. His girlfriend died in the first episode. Good luck with me.
<laughs> Yo, Mother's Milk is dope. Ah, oh, he's so dope. Love him. Not quite sure what's going on with this storyline here. You know, with Frenchie and uh, basically any of them, really. Uh, I'm wondering where this is going to lead to. I don't understand what you're saying because you won't teach me. Mm. Dang, man. Yeah, she's a phenomenal actor. Hmm. Remember when you were young and the world was just a random old lady there that they were just rack focusing in and out on? That's interesting. You have a problem? Of course not. Why would you say that? Can I have a word, please? Dude, you gotta, like, handle her, man. Like, why would you just... You, why would you just let her get away with that, man? I don't know if she's stronger than you or not. ...line of me stopping the terrorists. And I just want you to know that I understand. I'm upset, too. I mean, come on, God. Oh, man, dude. He's, like, digging himself a deeper hole that he can easily get out of if he just decided to. But it's just an ugly sight altogether. You know that freedom comes at a price. You don't speak for us. Yeah, you don't speak for us. Hmm. This isn't good. This isn't good. I feel like he's about to get laser triggered. He's going to get laser triggered, yo. You don't speak for us. You don't speak no, no. No, oh, God, please don't do this. Oh, my God. Please tell me that was a dream. Please tell me that was just a dream. Oh, okay. So it was. So it was. Whoo! Oh, okay. So this is the taffy room. Gotcha. Wow, this episode is incredible. I love it. Like, I'm telling you, it's giving me season one vibes. It's so good. I love what they're doing with the suspense here. Oh my goodness. What is Black Noir? Like, what is he? Like, literally, what the heck is he? Oh my goodness. Frame rate change. We're about to have a fight. Come in! Dude, what the freak? Oh my goodness, you gotta be kidding me. My wife's son. Homelander's son. Now you lay one fucking- Oh, he's thinking smart. Thank goodness. Thank- oh my gosh. Oh, God, dude. Oh, God. Jesus Christ, Billy. Yo. Dude, Black Noir is insane, man. Holy crap. And we. I will get your mum back. Here we go. Let's go, Butcher. Get right back on track, my man. Just don't die next time. <laughs> I got you something. Terra? Fuck it. <laughs> nice. So we. It seems that 
it seems that nice the gang is back well some pieces of it but man they have a lot of work ahead of them a whole lot of work cut out for them but my goodness what an episode this was I hate this. I hate this duo with everything. Don't stop. What the freak is going on right here? All right, everybody, and that wraps up episode five, season two of The Boys. Uh, again, this was another really really good episode in my opinion i i loved how the pacing fills with this episode it's just so good i keep bringing it back to season one but that's one of the really main reasons why i love season one it was just so good at the pacing of it and it just kept going and going and episode four and five has just been non-stop with it i absolutely loved it i loved what they're doing with it i love how they're handling all these characters and the, how they're feeling and the information that's given towards them and all of that i think it's so good and it, yeah it reminds me of season one like this is great i love what's happening right now but yeah stormfront is a problem stormfront is an actual problem and she seems to be just as strong as homelander i'm not sure how and i'm not sure why like it like obviously she has a problem towards black people but isn't, you know, Mr. Egger black himself? And she seems to kind of be working underneath him. So it, it's interesting. I'm pretty sure in later episodes, we're going to get more of why that is. But um, yeah, there's a lot of moving pieces going on. And I'm really liking how things are being set up. So, I mean, guys, this was, this was awesome. I'm happy that, you know these episodes are just like getting better and better and better i'm super excited for episode six so guys like always if you want early access definitely check out that patreon below but other than that i just want to thank you guys for taking the channel to where it is now there's so many of you and i'm happy that we're able to not only talk about the filmmaking aspect of things you know things that you you know can kind of learn from but also just the community being so chill and laid back and respectful of one another we can just conversate i think that's really dope and that's something really special that we have in this community so i just wanted to give y'all a huge thank you because i literally can't thank y'all enough so without further ado guys stay healthy stay hydrated because we are just getting started purple jacket pocket full of weed everything that i should ever need grab some matches because they give them free just like my time hair pulled back in the back seat